Hello all. Welcome to this tutorial on reducing size of the Unity project significantly. While working on Unity game projects I came across this issue of project size getting very huge. Especially in a game with many levels. Each level requires a separate scene containing prefabs or game objects. Even though prefabs reduce the size of project but if there are many such objects the project size becomes a limitation. So, I decided to find a solution to this. This technique can reduce the project size by as much as 90%. So, let us discuss on how we can accomplish this. Please stay till the end of the video as it will really prove to be a game changer to building a successful game project with no limitation to the size of the project. So, this technique involves creating an XML file for each scene in your project which contains all the game objects in that particular scene. So, let us take an example of this scene which is open now. We create a C-sharp script which reads all the game objects in a scene and writes to a file with their respective transforms. So, essentially what this script does is that it reads all the game objects in the scene, which this script is added to, and writes its location, rotation and scale into an XML file. Next we create another C hash script the purpose of which is to read the XML file we just created and, for the scene to be loaded, instantiates the game objects. Also, the location, rotation and scale are read from the XML file and applied to each game object. This method drastically reduces the size as now, we don't have to create a scene file for every level. Instead, the scene file is replaced by an XML file which is read during scene loading in the game. A scene file may take much larger space, but now, we don't have to create one as the scene is loaded from an XML file, instead, which takes much lesser space in few kilobytes instead of MB. For example in a scene there are hundreds or thousands of similar objects that need to be instantiated, then, we just need to create an XML file, as explained earlier and with few KB of its size we can have a scene loaded, thereby, removing the limitation of file size, especially on mobile platforms like Android or iOS, which have the game size limitation, owing to performance issues. So, I am providing a link to both of these two scripts which you can download for free and use in your Unity game projects. Let us now come to the implementation part. You first need to create a temporary scene in Unity placing all the game objects you need in your scene just like you would normally set up a scene when building levels in a game. Create an empty game object in your scene and name it as scene info. To this game object add a C# -sharp script component called sceneinfo.cs, open the downloaded file sceneinfo.xml and copy and paste its content into sceneinfo.cs file we just created. Then just play the game and output XML file will be created. I have the script ready with me, and this is how it looks like. As discussed earlier this script creates an output file containing all the game objects and their location, rotation and scale. We will just browse through the output file to give you an idea as to what kind of output is desired. So, this is the list of all game objects in the hierarchy view. We can see that in the output file, there are all the game objects in the scene along with their transforms. You can delete the scene file from your project once the output file is created as scene file is not required anymore. The next step is to instantiate each of the objects of the scene when the game runs. For this add the second script component, loadlevel.cs, in your game, to a game object where you are loading the levels in your game. We will take a look at how the script looks like. The script fetches the current level number and its sublevel in the game. A level here is the main world and a sublevel here is a level under a particular world. A level may have many sublevels. For example in a world forest there may be many sublevels which use the theme and physical objects found in the forest. Before I go further, additionally, I want to mention here, that just by having the names of game objects in a scene and its transforms in the XML file, we created earlier, does not suffice to instantiate the game objects. We need to define the game objects in an inventory file. 
An inventory file is nothing but a scene which consists of all unique game objects that a world or main level needs. For example, there may be a scene in which there are hundreds of similar trees which need to be instantiated. So, in the inventory scene we will just have a single tree game object but hundreds of trees will be instantiated using the single tree game object already defined in the inventory scene for forest. The script, one by one reads, from the XML, the object name, and in the inventory file searches for that game object and instantiates it. The script also reads the transforms and applies to the game object being instantiated. It is worthwhile to mention here like forest, there may be a world called desert. The world desert will have many sublevels under it. So, we will have another inventory scene called forest which will have the unique game objects related to desert like cactus, dunes. So, to summarize, the load level script, during scene loading, first evaluates the level number based on which appropriate inventory file will be loaded. Then for a particular main level and its sublevel, the already generated XML file is read, one by one, for object name and its transform, and then correspondingly instantiated using the appropriate game object template already defined in the inventory file. Imagine the benefits of having this design implemented in your game where you can save hundreds of MB of storage. I believe this can be a breakthrough to removing the size limitation in your Unity project. To make this even clearer, I will be creating another tutorial on this which will cover the demo part where I will walk through all the steps involved in loading a scene. That should make you better equipped to customize your game as per your own needs and give a better understanding of how this design is implemented. I hope this helped. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.